Hello everyone, this video will be about how to dissolve polygons in FME desktop. We'll be covering what this actually means, data input requirements, which transformer to use, and also going through the transformer parameters and reviewing the output of our analysis. So what does dissolving polygons do? It dissolves area features by removing common boundaries to create larger areas. Now why would we want to do this type of analysis? Perhaps we have smaller administration districts of a city that we want to aggregate together to turn into one polygon of an entire city. Dissolving polygons also allows us to accumulate attributes across all common boundaries. For example, city population per district could be aggregated to a larger population along with the boundaries being joined together. Alright, so let's jump to our workbench. Now if anyone is wondering, I'm currently using FME Desktop 2020 edition. So, I've already imported a geo package which contains the City of Toronto administration districts. When we inspect the data, you will see that the name of the administration district in one column, a city name column, a region column, and a population column. We also have the area associated with each district as well. The transformer we are going to use to dissolve these regions is the dissolver transformer. So I'm going to bring that into my workbench now. The requirements for this transformer to work is the input features must be an area polygon or the transformer will not work. If you try to bring in a point feature for example, I'm going to run the dissolver with doctor location point file and as you notice there will be an error which will appear on the rejected port. So we're going to go through first how to combine all the polygons together without a common attribute. And then we're going to go through how to combine these features together with a common attribute. So let's go through these parameters together we will want to use. Since we want all our polygons to be aggregated together, we will leave the group by parameter blank. I'm going to leave the tolerance set to automatic. The tolerance is the minimum distance between geometries in 2D before they are considered equal. If I leave it to none, the geometries must be exactly identical to be considered equal. You can also use a custom distance. My data is not 3D, so I'm going to ignore the connect Z mode. I'm going to leave aggregate handling to deaggregate. I'm going to name the dissolve count attribute dissolve count, which will keep track of the total polygons we combined. Now, if I enable the merge attribute option, it will only keep the values of the largest polygon, which happens to be Scarborough. However, this is not ideal, and if we actually want to retain all those attributes to be used later in our workbench, we will then need to generate a list to actually save all these district attributes. So, accumulation mode, we will select drop incoming attributes. For the parameter attributes to sum, I'm going to select population so we can get the total population of the entire city. As mentioned earlier, we will generate a list so we can retain our input attributes for districts. I'm going to give it a name called districts. Select all attributes and hit OK. So we're going to run the workbench and let's view the data in inspector. So what you'll notice is that all six boundaries were combined into one polygon. We also have a total sum of the population of the entire city. Dissolve count column tells us how many districts were combined to create this polygon. Now under feature information in inspector, you will notice that all the input attributes were saved and exist in my list. So what if you didn't want to aggregate all polygons coming into dissolver but rather only dissolve based on an attribute? Well, this can be achieved now by using the group by parameter. My data has a region column which I'm going to use to group them by. I'm going to keep all my attributes the same, press OK and run the workbench again. So you'll now see we have three area features being returned instead of one. Now if we view the data in inspector, you will see that we have a region column that we use for the grouping, the aggregated population count, and the dissolved count column which says how many districts were dissolved per record. If you wanted to save the aggregated results to a file, you can write it to any file that supports geospatial data, for example the Esri shape file or geo package.
So I hope this tutorial was helpful for understanding dissolving polygons with FME. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe to not miss out on my next video. See you next time.